Hi everybody, it's Evelyn with Cats Play Art. Today I am going to do something I saw uh, on Tammy Anderson's uh, channel. I will try to remember to link her channel into my description. And it is a Dutch pour, but instead of just doing puddles, she used a bottle bottom to make per, uh, petals and then she blew out the petals so I thought oh that is so cool uh, I just have to try that and I've got my canvas wet because uh, are dry and I'm gonna spread the uh, my Dutch boy uh, house paint that has been mixed with Floetrol and water to get uh, the consistency I need for a Dutch pour um, and I got a new spatula. Now this came, uh, courtesy of, I, I see Canilla, uh, Sirocco using hers all the time. And she says it's the best thing she's ever found for spreading paint. So I'm going, I'm going to, I thought, well, can't be any worse than what I've already got. And because I'm not happy, uh, with using this, uh, it doesn't go very fast or smooth with using the uh, palette knives I've been using. So I thought, well, the worst thing that can happen is I don't like it. Um, and at the moment, it seems to be doing a pretty nasty job. Uh, seems to get the paint spread really rather easily and, and quickly, which is a nice change. Uh, she has these in her Amazon shop, um, and uh, they're available, i.e. they're available on Amazon. Uh, it, you want the large, and it's called an, uh, omelet folder, uh, spatula. So, if you want to give it a try, uh, I can now recommend it. Um, as I said, it seemed to work really well. Uh, to do my sides. I got most of them, but I am I am shaky today. I'll tell you. I, I don't know. Let me get my sides well and covered. I so rarely spread paint on camera because it's not the most exciting thing in the world to do, but uh, it's necessary. And as I said, I wanted to try the spatula and I thought, well, if I'm going to try the spatula, I might as well do it on camera so you can get my honest reaction. Going to pop my butt. Whoa, what the heck? No, well, it's turned up all the way. Now it's turned down all the way. That was a little scary. Didn't expect that. Uh, of course, I don't know how it got turned up all the way. I made the mistake of shaking my duck at my, uh, my paint before I uh, started pouring so I've got lots of bubbles. I'm going to take a moment, make sure this is nice and smooth by tilting it. Yeah. There's a couple spaces that I may be tilting too much paint off. But I can, by lifting the canvas up, I can see there's some thin spots. So I'm trying to cover those thin spots. There you go. Now they're nice and covered. And I'm going to put a little bit of, just sprinkle some extra white 
around and I might do this again after I get my paint down. You got to have enough paint and I uh, poured off quite a bit. Yeah, uh, you gotta have to. You need to have your paint uh, thick enough, or there's enough paint on the canvas. Ooh, dog hair. Uh, to uh, have the paint move. Okay, here's my bottom bottle. I seem to be rambling today. I apologize. I'm going to try to get this in the center. I think that's. Just a little bit, yeah. And I am going to do what I consider peacock colors. Uh, I have pearl, uh, Arteza pearl sapphire blue. smaller than the rest. Okay. I have a Deco Art Metallica Peacock Pearl. Then I have Deco Art Metallic Purple Pearl. Well, that came out faster than I expected. I'm, the reason I'm stopping and looking is I want to make sure that there's about equal paint on all the petals. Then I have Sargent's Liquid Metallics Green. Again, got that. Oh, well, that's not going to be. Unscrewing the top instead of unscrewing the, uh, the spout is not going to help. Said I'm using what I consider to be peacock colors. And then I have Arteza. I'm not sure about the art. No, I'm not going to. I was going to put yellow in it. And I decided, no, I'm not going to put yellow. But I am going to use the 24 karat gold. Kind of boo booed there with the dropping the uh, the spot of gold there, but it's a Dutch pour, so um, it will get blown out. Um, okay. Lift my cup up, and I'm going to quickly put some white, extra white in the middle to blow over. And let's get, let's see how this turns out. Oh, I got my cords tangled up there. Well, I, sorry. 
Suddenly I see bubbles, 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 and more bubbles. <laughs> if you don't pop your bubbles, if you're new to this and you don't pop your bubbles, they can go all the way down to the canvas and suddenly you have, uh, you have, uh, bare canvas. not happy with this so I'm gonna take and go and pop the tickle stick. Scrape that off just that that one little area off and put some more white over it. Because I really wasn't happy but that just, it, the rest of them are pretty symmetrical, even though this one went off and this one didn't. I must have not have had my uh, cup as centered as I thought, but that's okay. It's art, and each, each is a little bit different. I am going to take my beloved straw and blow right here to see if I can bring that up to uh, kind of round out that uh, that uh, leaf or petal um, Makes it beautiful. Um, I don't know. I I kind of kind of like it. I may just to make it more flower nest. Put a bit of this yellow in the center. Give it a little bit of contrast. Like a flower. Maybe. Drop two of the white. So it's not quite as stark of a, a contrast there in the center. I don't know if that's adding to it or not, but it's worth a worth a try. Actually, I'm pretty, pretty pleased with myself. I did rub against the canvas here. I seem to always do that. Um, uh, 
I actually am pretty darn pleased. I got some beautiful cells, some beautiful lacing. Um, let me put the torch to it. See if I can bring up anything else here. Especially in this middle where the paint was originally. I'm actually really rather pleased with this. Um, let me uh, bring down the camera and uh, show you a close-up. Um, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you just got a nice view of my lap. I, I apologize. Um, I... I'm having trouble. I love this camera, but I'm having a little bit of trouble. Uh, if I stop it, it doesn't want to. Uh, I put my editing editing program doesn't want to add to the end. So uh, let me give you a closer look at this. I've got some beautiful lacing there. Um, some. Don't know if you can see the shimmer and shine. Awesome cells on this petal. Uh, again, some beautiful lacing. Uh, got a little bit of lacing in the middle. Some more cells and lacing here. Overall, I'm really pleased with this. Although I am a little off center. But that's okay. Uh, so this is Evelyn with Cat's Play Art. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like and subscribe. It really helps my channel. And I'm signing off. You have a great day. Bye.